the power. Disc Mac. What's happening, everybody? It's Too Cool TB. Felt like doing a video today. We're going to do a breakdown, a little walkthrough of how I did the instrumental to the track Metro PCS featuring Eladrio. Great artist, guy that deserves most of the credit for everything cool that it happened to me like the last eight or nine months of my life when it comes to music. So we'll talk about this beat here, how I made it. I'm going to show you guys. This is the profile, not profile, the save file. Uh, what it is here. So this here, I I made it in Sony Acid. It's a beat that I had kicking around for a while, like a few months. It was actually a short amount of time for me because I usually take a long time before I go from having an instrumental to making the song. But this one, like I was just feeling this uh, got a twisted bass line pattern here. That's what this one all started out as. I was just kind of playing around with different bass lines. So you hear it, it just so if you got you know playing through a phone speaker or a laptop you won't hear that but if you play it from headphones you can hear the bass line i just kind of had that idea i wanted to have something that had this like stop and then loop around a little boom 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 but they get into the beat so it's actually a pretty simple bass line so what i used to do that I used this sampler right here, TX16W, and I used a Trapaholic kick sample on there and it stretched out across the whole keyboard. So, so you put it on this right here, it's going to let you, I'm doing a hand gesture so I don't even have the camera turned on. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, right, focus, focus. Anyway, so what you do is when you put the sample on here, you can stretch it out across this keyboard. And you can set the range from the low key to the high key. And this is what it'll do. It's going to make it so that, like you can hear, you can change the pitch of that sample. So that's the way I like to do the bass lines a lot of the time. For all kinds of genres, I'll do a kick sample and then I'll pitch it up and down. Like if you have a nice long kick with a nice long tail on it, it'll work good if you like pitch it up and down like that. So that's kind of what this one started off on with just that little. And then from there, I want to do something kind of different with the, uh, with the drums. I want to, you know, cause I just, where this came from too, was I was just getting so tired and bored of the like trap sound. Ironically, I use all trap sounds in this, but just like trap drum patterns are just getting bore, boring to me, so I went with this. So this was the first sound I added, just a simple little snap, a trapaholic snap sound effect. It's real simple, because I saw that this was needed. If you've heard the song, or if you you know heard it at the beginning, this is really the main motor of the beat. Boom, 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 boom. So that's a little turnaround section there. And I feel like that's kind of what makes the beat unique, the little turnaround that I put in there. So right there, it's just like a little, like a wood block kind of a sound, like a little click. So I put that in there just to add a little bit of an extra texture to it so I, and then of course this is how I use the hi-hats on it that's it just five in a row and then of course just add in a nice long open hi-hat sound You see, it's pretty simple here. This instrumental was just dead simple for me to make. 
and you have to turn around then. So that's really all it was that's to this one. It's a pretty simple instrumental. Yet it took me a surprisingly long time to make when I was coming up with it. And that's the reason why. Because I decided I just need to leave it simple. I don't need to add a whole lot of extra stuff. Well, I did add to it to make it a little bit more interesting. Just as it's transitioning into different sections of the song. I did use a synth and I added this little layer here. And that's it, it's just that loop, just that little short loop that I did. Let me see if I can figure out what um I use. I wanna say it was probably, cause it was a soft synth. I don't have it on here now because to save memory, I'll usually go over here and I'll take out the uh, plugin just to save memory basically. Plus it's easier and better to manipulate the sound as a wave, file that's on here like this like as an audio region then this to try to manipulate it live coming out as midi but yeah i want to say the one i used it was probably let me think i probably use noisemaker i bet yeah this looks like what i probably used the sound I use is no telling. I, mean, I use some kind of kooky sound on here. But yeah, this was definitely would have been the synth I use. I'm pretty sure of it. And I use the same synth what we get here. So when it comes into the hook, this is the famous part. So we bring in the other synth, ready? And we'll just do something real simple with it, just a little. So now when we put all that together, we're coming out of the end of the verse. Boom, 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 boom. Coming into the hook. That's all it is to it. This one is just that simple. That's all it is to this walkthrough where I made this instrumental. So I hope this was informative. I hope it was interesting to some of you. And I'm going to do a, a part two where I'm going to show you guys the vocals on this one. There's just what effects that I use on that. So appreciate everybody that made it this far in the video. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Dope.